All right, drivers and dashers, welcome back to Pay to Drive. If this is your first time here, hit that red subscribe button. Turn on all notifications with the bell to the right so you're always up to date. Hit that like and let's jump into this. So this one here uh, is from an anonymous person. They asked to remain anonymous, so we're going to do that. So let's jump into this. Hi, Pete. Hope you're doing well, my friend. I am. I enjoy your videos. I sent you a quick message last night after viewing your video regarding potential investigations into delivery apps and other related gig economy companies. Straight to the point. I'm an Uber Eats driver as well as other delivery services, mainly Uber Eats. Recently, I participated in an Uber Eats promotion. Basically, the terms were as follows. If you complete a, spe a specified number of deliveries within a certain time frame, I believe it was 30 days, you would earn a minimum of $1,800 in fares. So I chose to participate. Every day as usual, I was receiving consistent orders, completing deliveries, and doing great. When I came within four to five days of reaching the minimum number of deliveries required, and with only about 35 deliveries left, suddenly the delivery requests went dead. I would sit for an hour or more waiting for a delivery. I live in a densely populated area with many restaurants. Finding this to be very odd and unusual, I contacted Uber Eats support more than once. Each time, I politely explained that I had been sitting for an hour or more for a delivery, and not one had come in. I am one of their top-rated drivers. So, they explained to me that it has to do with demand fluctuations, etc., etc., which, of course, I am aware of, and that is true. Uh, here's the very intriguing part. Every time I called after sitting for an hour plus with no delivery requests as I was on the phone with tech support, a delivery would come in and continue to do so, but at a much slower rate for the rest of the day. All they told me was, everything is fine with your account. I was only approximately 35 deliveries away from reaching my goal, and my account was significantly throttled for the remaining four to five days of the promotion preventing me from reaching the required minimum to receive the $1,800 in fares. I have a witness to all of this as well, including the phone calls, as deliveries magically started coming in while I was on the phone with support, but, as mu but at a much slower rate. These are the games they play to get us motivated to make them money. Then, when we get close to our goal, boom, throttled. This can be programmed into the apps. It does not have to be a person monitoring your account in real time. At best, it's misrepre misrepresentation of a contract slash agreement and quite possibly fraud. I would prefer to remain anonymous for now as I will be contacting my law firm regarding the situation. However, I think it's important that you should share this on your channel in case other drivers are experiencing the same or similar things. Perhaps they may know of other drivers that have had this happen to them. Thanks so much, Pete, for all that you do. Sincerely, Anonymous. So, uh, you know, the way he, the way this person explained this, uh, it totally sounds like they're throttling. And it totally sounds like they amp you up to try and make them money. And then when it comes down to paying you, you know, what they're promising, then all of a sudden, magically, the orders slow down and then maybe they're giving them to other drivers. This is why, for one, I always say to multi-app. Okay, and he, he says that he does some of the other apps too, but make sure you guys are on DoorDash and Grubhub. Seriously, the DoorDash link, sign up link is down below in my descriptions, down below the video. Click show more, sign up today, and go on to Grubhub.com and get on the wait list now. Seriously, because sometimes it takes a while. I'll tell you right now, this is very, very, very sleazy stuff on Uber's part, you know. Uh, because technically they're not doing anything wrong here, even though it's unethical and it's, it's not, it's not moral, you know, like the, the, they don't have any morals here. That's what it comes down to. So drivers and dashers, have you ever experienced what this person is going through? Let me know in the chat or the comments. And what do you think is really going on? Are they throttling the orders? What's going on with this $1,800? We got to talk about it. Also, make sure you guys are all subscribed to my other channel, Team PTD. Uh, we're trying to get it to 1,000 subscribers. We're like 100 away. So link is in the description. Make sure to turn on that notification bell and uh, all that stuff. Definitely go over there. Watch the videos. There's more content like pay to drive, and I will be adding more stuff. So... Let me know in the in the comments or the chat if you're subscribed. Leave a comment saying subbed. 
there are all the names right here on your screen of our current patrons as of the current moment of this video being made. So huge shout outs to all of them. If you guys want to sign up, links are down below. As I mentioned, who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it will be you. 